Welcome back to Ryan's Rally, everybody. I'm your host, Bo. We are opening a quarter of the box today and sending the other three quarters of the box out to you. And our three lucky people this week are Kaysen, Addison, and Brody. We have an extra one also for a young man named Bryce that was left over from a few weeks ago. So let's get everything started. This week we are looking for the or this week we are opening up 1991 Fleer and looking for the 1991 Roberto Clemente Award winner. Anybody got any idea who that is? Did anyone read ahead from last week? Well, let me throw out a hint. This guy is actually a personality on TV right now. He actually works for the MLB Network. And back in the day, it was said that he was driven by the feeling that he can he could make a difference. And folks, I'm here to tell you, that's all you need. You need the feeling that you can make a difference, that you are special and just, hmm, you're just unique. The way that you were made, be the best version of you and be the most successful version of you. So, Let's go ahead and get started. Go ahead and bust open the cellophane. Get it tossed to the side. Now, that's ours. That one will be for Kaysen. Addison. And Brody. And just so you guys could maybe look ahead, maybe scroll through the old internet and find out who this year's Roberto Clemente Award nominees are and see if you can find them in these extra packs that I'm adding to you guys' box this week. So good luck. All righty. Let's go ahead and break ours open. So, actually, oh my goodness, I hadn't even brought out all of our special stuff for the week. Well, let's move this stuff over just a little bit, and let's bring out our special stuff for the week. Well, in our last episode, we started something new, and that's celebrating the Roberto Clemente Award winners. And what I did was I went out and I got a special version of Dave Stewart. I secured this. It was a limited print, one of three. Autographed card because it just meant something special to me. He's our first person on our wall of fame. Wouldn't you agree? Now, just in case you guys don't know who Jabs is, and for those in the card cracking or card breaking industry on the online, he's one of the big guys. But Eric opened up a box of 2021 Series 2 um, cards for us. He did a jumbo box. And this was pulled for us. We are a Braves family, but I had to show this to you guys. That made our day. It's 15 of 25, signature, three-color patch, Ronald Acuna Jr. That made our day. And then Sylvia, my wife, who I love and adore, got me a little something special this week or a few weeks ago when it finally came in the mail and I just wanted to share it with you guys it's a Bo Jackson Project 70 card just so happens I went online and saw it was on the Topps website and I had to get one Bo Jackson is by far my favorite athlete of all time and 
now we can get back to the cards. So, oh, let's go ahead and find out who we're talking about for the week. I'm just getting so ahead of myself whenever I don't have everything laid out right in front of me. Try to do things just a little bit better this week. Well, oh, goodness, with all the moving around, almost showed who sent it to me. But I bought this on eBay, and oh, it's also where I've got the Dave Stewart from. But for this week, I thought we needed something super duper, ooper booper special, and something that really touched base on not just me or Ryan or baseball, but brought it all together. Some years ago, they made a set for deployed, or I, I don't know if it was deployed or not because I wasn't there, but they made a series of Desert Storm cards. And our celebration this week is of Harold Reynolds. And I really wanted to wait until this card made it to us. You see the little Desert Storm insignia thing up, our Desert Shield up there? I just think that's so neat because my uncle was there. That's what helped me decide to go and do the military thing. And it's just so cool seeing our... Roberto Clemente Award winner this week is on is on deck. <laughs> so here, let me pull out the Acuna, set it to the side, and there we go. Right there in the center. So that is who we're looking for. Harold Reynolds. So to go over a little bit of stuff about his career. Hmm. Well, not really sure what's going on. Well, all I've got pulled up is... Harold Reynolds was the second base baseman for the Seattle Mariners for a good bit of his career, but finished it out with the uh, Los Angeles Angels. He also had, a, I want to say, a year with the Orioles, but it's not right here in front of me. So, let's go ahead and get started because, guys, quite honestly, I hadn't figured out how to edit yet. So, as I grow in this, Everything will get better. So, let's go ahead and get it started. Greg Olson. Steve Decker. Dan Plesek. Cliff Young. Jim Esrich. Esenrich. Frank Tannen. Lance Johnson. Joe Bover, Brian Meyer, Atlee ha Haymaker, Eric Plunk, Tim Drummond, Gary Sheffield, Rick Cerrone, and some stickers. Nothing too crazy there. I was looking for anything that stood out. And Gary, Gary was about the, the high point of that last pack, at least from what I, I understand or I know. Like I said, this is my attempt at learning baseball and just trying to be a good godfather. Greg Kaderick. David West, Dave Parker, Tim Leary, Randy Myers, Paul Gibson, Andreas Galarraga, Andres Galarraga, Eric Hansen, 
Oh, that's beautiful. Roger Clemens. Don't know if you guys know this or if I've made it abundantly clear yet. I do love art. And I can't wait until this is a is a way for me to show you guys how to do some artwork too. Kent Anderson, Scott Sanderson, Marty Clary, Darren Reed, Ellis Burks. I'll go ahead and set that one up there. I like those. Ricky Henderson, love the guy. Mike Stanton, Daryl Boston, Dennis Lamp, Kevin Hickey, Gary Carter, Jamie Navarro, Dante Bichette. My wife loved him whenever he was with Atlanta, so we always get a kick every time we get a Bo Bichette card. Jeff Montgomery. Jack Morrison, Greg Hibbard, John Cruck, Andahar, Sedina, and Tony Gwynn. A true class act that was taken way too soon. At least that's what they say. I do believe he is on our list, and if he is not, I'm sure we'll find ourselves learning about him at some point. Especially these two. Ryan Sandberg and Andrew Dawson. Definitely cubby guys. Mike Morgan. Dick um, Schofield. Drew Hall. Brad Arnsberg. Pete Smith. Tom Herr. Rick Honeycutt. Randy Tomlin, Daryl Irwin, Rob Robinson, Tom Brookins, ooh, Dwight Gooden, John Orton, and in a St. Louis card sticker. Let's go here for another pack. So, yeah. Apparently, Old Harold Reigns has done some amazing, amazing work with his charities. Don Carmen, Danny Darwin, Jose Lind, Denny Walling, Derek Bell, Dave Hansen, Fred Lynn, Dave Magadan, John Farrell, Steve Farr, Sammy Sosa, Roger Clemens, Chris Carpenter, Paul Asimir, and some stickers. Wow, so we've made it through a few packs and we still haven't found our guy. But just to go over it, as far as I was able to gather from all of my research, I was noticing that he was amazing, or he was a he was a good baseball player, maybe even a great baseball player. Back then, I wasn't really on it, but he did some. He could throw some ball. Less, less, less. Call it what it is. The man was in the major leagues. We'll take nothing from him. The man was an amazing ball player. But his ability to take his accomplishments on the field and use those to bring awareness to other things in the cities and to helping children, to me it's just... He maximized every bit of his potential as far as being a, a change maker. He took every bit of celebrity, every bit of, of opportunity to really focus light on things that needed to be changed and, you know, to helping kids. 
I, I'm very, very excited, you know, because the things I think about as far as being a mentor and being a guide and, and trying to be there for, for, you know, my nieces, nephews, and godchildren, this man has done all over the country and has touched many, many lives. And he was able to take his personality from the ball field, the, the accomplishments from the ball field, and really, you know, run a trifecta and make it really work for his whole life and push that to help so many others in inner cities. I tried really hard to find information on individual hand-on type situations and I tell you, I found more where it was him talking and using his celebrity in order to gain revenue, basically, to help these organizations. I would have loved to have found, no kidding, hands getting dirty on the ground, making things happen, because I'm sure at one point of his career, that's the guy that he was. I would love to see him in a more charitable capacity at some point. So let's get back to the cards. Dave Bergman, Junior Naboa, Randy Johnson, the big unit. How you doing? Mike Gallego, Chris Nebaholtz, Dave Johnson, uh, Kirk Herbeck, John Smiley, Jim Gott, Dave Wells. <laughs> oh, man, David Wells. That is so awesome. Pete O'Brien. Ryan Sandberg. Bobby, Th Bobby Thompson. And Tim Lannan. And a Baltimore Orioles sticker. Don Robinson, Edgar Diaz, Jim Abbott, Bill Picota, Jerry Don Gleaton, Ron Karkovic, uh, Rod Booker, Mike Scott, Richard <laughs> Rodriguez, Don Mattingly, and everybody always asks why he's not in the Hall of Fame. I know coming up, it was him and Wade Boggs were like Mr. Mister and Mr. Baseball. Juan Beringor, Paul Marabella, Steve Sachs, Barry Larkin. Right there, sir. Oh, we got a Brave sticker. And a Royal sticker. My night has set. It's definitely been a success now. <laughs> Brave sticker and royal sticker. Come on, Bo. Where are you at? Come on, Harold. I need Bo and I need Harold. Let's go. Jeff Reed, Kevin Reamer, Dave Justice. Go ahead and pull him out. Jose Orozco, Mike. Schwab, oh, I'm sorry, Schwab, Bip Roberts, Joe Price, Rick Skew, Todd Burns, Mike Bell, Wally Whithurst, a Whitehurst, Carlos Quintana, Carlos Quintana, Quintana, Mike. Tettleton. Hmm, had a hard time there. And an Astros. That was a, that is actually cool. That was Ryan's favorite team. And just to, to shine a light, probably my least favorite team. Oh, man. But no. They're a great organization, I'm sure. 
but they're not the Braves. Scott Terry, Manny Lee, Alfred Griffin. I tell you, back in the whenever I was a kid, I used to try to rub that just to <laughs> see if it would turn into Ken Griffey Jr. <laughs> yeah, it didn't happen. Uh, Derek Linquist, Lilquist, David Cohn, Carlos Baraga, Tom Gordon, Scott Fletcher, Jeff Reardon, Shawan Dunstan. Tom Pognazzi, John Russell, Jim Poole, and Jim Vatcher. And some more stickers. All right, everybody, that was all of our stacks. Luckily, our card came in. That way we have our tribute to Harold Reynolds because... Yeah, we couldn't find him in our pack, so hopefully you guys find him in yours. And let me know. Have a great one. And don't forget, be the change you want to see. Have a great week. Take care.